Apply the simplify process skill to solve this 700 level number properties question from the official GMAT test. Pause the video while you're solving and resume when you're done. Let's solve this question. If x and y are integers, which means that they can be positive, negative, or zero, what is the remainder when x squared plus y squared is divided by five? Okay, there's a question mark here. Okay, so essentially what we need to figure out is if x squared plus y squared is divided by five, let's say five quotient plus remainder. What do we need to find out? We need to find out this remainder. Okay, so now let's take a look at statement one. Statement 1 says x minus y is divided by 5 and the remainder is 1. So we can write, we can write our divisibility equation. We can write 5, let's say the quotient is a plus the remainder is 1. Okay. So there isn't much that I can do with this information, right? I mean, so if you think about, if you compare these two equations, what do I have? I have x squared plus y squared here. I have a multiple of five here, and then I have this remainder, okay? Here I have x minus y, uh, x minus y multiple of five, and, 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 and not a multiple of uh, five here, right? So I could do some manipulation here to arrive at some term x square plus y square so let, let's do that what if i square both sides okay squaring both sides what do i get x square plus y square minus 2xy is equal to uh, 25 a square plus uh, 10a plus 1 okay now what do i see here let's keep the like terms here okay let's let's keep x square plus y square here what do I get? 25a square plus 10a plus 1 plus 2xy. Okay. Now I know for sure that these two terms are multiples of 5. So I could write this as another, you know, 5c um, for example, right? It's a multiple of 5 plus 1 plus 2xy. Okay. So I don't know if this term here 2x5, 2xy is a multiple, is it a multiple of 5 or not? Okay, I don't know that. Is this multiple of 5 or not? Okay, because if I knew if this term is a multiple of 5, then I know that this would go into this term and then my remainder would be 1. If this is not a multiple of 5, then it would go into this term and the remainder will be 1 plus 2xy. Right? So again, I don't know that. So I really cannot figure out what the multi what, what the remainder is, right? Which means that this statement is not sufficient. Okay. So in terms of our answers, A, B, C, D, and E, a and D cannot be the correct answers. Now let's take a look at statement two. Statement two gives us similar information actually uh, as statement one. It just says that X plus Y when divided by five, let's say five, five B leaves the remainder two, again, divisibility equation. And if I follow the same principle, following same principle, um, let's say, even if I simplified this, I'm again going to get similar stuff. So I'm just going to show you the steps. I'll get X square plus Y square is equal to, um, again, 25 B square plus, uh, this should be 20 B plus four. Um, and then minus 2xy again i these terms are multiple of 5 but these two I, this one is not for sure this one i don't know okay and i don't know the values of x and y so this information is also not sufficient okay which means that b is also not the correct answer okay now we are left with choices c and e all right so now let's put both the statements together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the simplified form of, of my statements like this form over here and this form over here. Maybe I could pick up this form and this form over here. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. What do I have from statement one? X square plus Y square is equal to, um, actually, you know what? We can pick up this form here because this is a lot simpler to handle. And I'm going to simplify this one over here as well as 5D plus 4 
minus 2xy okay so I'm going to pick up this form again just notice what I'm doing I'm simply because I know these two terms are multiples 25 is a multiple of 5 20 is a multiple of 5 so I'm just combining these two terms as some multiple of 5 okay 5d the way I did combine over here as well so again I'm simplifying here okay all right so I'm going to write this as 5c plus 1 plus 2xy and statement number 2 gives me x square plus y square is equal to 5d plus 4 minus 2xy okay now if I add these two up these two equations up what do I get when I add them what do I get is 2 into x square plus y square is equal to 5 into c plus d plus 5 and these two terms get cancelled out now let's simplify this it's 5 into c plus d plus 1 and here it's I can take this to yeah 2 into x square plus y square okay so I'm going to simplify this further and I'm going to say 2 into x square plus y square is equal to 5 and I'm going to simplify this as 5e now I want you to observe this equation over here now you see that you have 2 over here you have 5 over here now 2 is not a factor of 5 right which means that if this equation were to be true then x square plus y square has to be a multiple of 5 for this equation to hold true which means that r is equal to 0 r remainder is equal to 0 which means that both these statements together are sufficient which means my correct answer is choice e okay now i want you to look at how we have solved this question okay on the surface the question didn't look very complicated from the expression standpoint x square plus y square is not that scary an expression x minus y x plus y again not very scary expressions but when you started solving it you recognize the importance of simplifying the information right and that's what you ended up doing over here you tried to take x minus y and you tried to put it in the form of x square plus y square okay that's what you did over here you did the same thing here and then you carried forward with that same approach and when you came to process these two equations together you you basically add uh, again some square uh, you you basically added them up and and saw how can you simplify it to get it in the form of x square plus y square is equal to 5q plus r okay so that's what your goal was throughout and you utilize the simplify process scale in order to get to that goal okay another process skill that you applied over here was translate information you translated your um, in, uh, question statement into this form over here and you recognized what is it that you need to uh, you need to find out in order to get get to the answer you also applied your inference process skill in towards the end wherein you figured out that for this equation to hold true x square plus y square has to be a multiple of five okay all right so i hope this gives you a good idea about how to utilize the simplify process skill in order to solve questions okay so start applying simplify process skill from this point onwards happy learning